Friday, December 28th, the Music City Bowl. We're moving to Nashville, man. I, I love this game. I wish I could go. Uh, it is at 12.30 p.m. on Friday, December 28th. My uh, my daughter will be in palm practice at that point, so I will be watching on an iPad. Um, ESPN, it's in Nashville. Purdue, Auburn. Purdue is 6-6 six and six on the year. They had to win their last game against Indiana just to get in here. Uh, they six five and one against the spread. Auburn seven and five this year, five and seven against the spread. Both teams two and two in their last four against the spread. Opening line was Auburn minus four and a half, and a total of fifty four and a half. The current line is Auburn minus three and a half, and it stayed at fifty four and a half. I, offensive yards per play, it is not even close. This is all Purdue. But then on defense, this is all Auburn. That's right. They're two completely so, different teams. Yeah. It, Auburn cannot run the football it, it, just to save their lives. Against um, SEC teams. Yeah, but it does make you wonder, like, will they be able to do this against Purdue, That's, who is not that look, strong we're, in the We're having two different conversations. This is why you can't just live off metrics alone. Yeah. It's because Auburn couldn't run the football against Alabama. Our Georgia, our LSU, our Mississippi State, hmm. four of the top or Texas A&M, twelve A&M, but those four schools are probably the top twelve run defenses yeah, all, all in the of country. Them are, all of them are top fifteen. You know, I mean that's that's incredible, and and so yeah, of course you can't run the ball against them. Purdue's not going to be close to that. Now Purdue against Auburn, the Auburn run could own the run. Purdue is number seventy four in the country against the run. They give up four point four two yards per attempt. Uh, all, the metrics favor Auburn by five and a half, and the point total it says is fifty five, which is almost right on that right fifty four and a half. Um, interesting stat: Jeff Brom three and zero straight up in bowl games, two and one against the spread. Um, at Purdue, he is eight and two against the spread with five straight up wins as an underdog. Yeah, I, this is the I, I want to go to this game. I want to watch it. This is probably one of my most excited games about. This is also the one game I have no feel for whatsoever. Yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> if, 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 if Purdue wins it outright and beats them handily, it would not shock me. If Auburn drums them, it wouldn't shock me. If this is a, you know, 24-24 game going into overtime, it would not shock me. No, I'm with you. So I, I'm completely I, with you. I think this is going to be a fun game to watch. Just I, I'm taking Auburn. I'm taking the under. And in, in our picks, I, I will have probably no money on this game at all. I'm going to take Auburn as well. Uh, I'm going to go over, though. I don't like betting against Jeff Brom. No. I mean, I And yet I we're both doing it. Like, we, we both, both just it. heard the stat. But, and but that's just because I, I think, A, all trends end at some point in time. I never really fear trends because at some point in time they stop being trends and they go the other way. Yeah. But, but also – Gus is coaching for his job in a bowl game, and I think he knows that. I think Braum which is could, crazy. To Braum me. could get beat by forty, and you know, and they'd still worship. Him. No, yeah, he's 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 a god there. So, yeah, I mean, one man is desperate, the other man's not. No, you're you're right about that. 